do I have to file ISF for walkie talkie? Welcome back to our customs brokerage video series. In today's episode, we'll be discussing whether you need to file an importer security filing ISF, for walkie talkies. Walkie talkies are a popular communication device used in various industries, and it's important to understand the customs requirements associated with their importation. So let's dive right in. First and foremost, let's briefly talk about what an ISF is for those who may not be familiar with it. The importer security filing is a mandatory requirement imposed by U.S. Customs and Border Protection CBP, for all ocean shipments entering the United States. It is also commonly known as the 10 plus 2 rule, as it consists of 10 data elements required from the importer and 2 data elements provided by the carrier. Now, coming back to the main question, do you have to file an ISF for walkie-talkies? The answer is, in most cases, yes. Walkie-talkies are classified as electronic devices and fall under the category of goods that require an ISF. As an importer, it is your responsibility to ensure that all the necessary documentation, including the ISF, is filed accurately and within the prescribed time frame. Failing to file an ISF can lead to serious consequences, such as monetary penalties, shipment holds, and delays in the clearance process. It is crucial to comply with all customs regulations to avoid any unnecessary complications. To file the ISF for your walkie-talkie shipment, you will need to provide certain information to CBP. This includes the manufacturer or supplier details, country of origin, the consignee's name and address, the buyer's name and address, and the HTSUS, Harmonized Tariff Schedule of the United States, code for the goods. Additionally, you will also need to provide the intended arrival port, vessel information, and estimated arrival date. It's worth mentioning that there are certain exemptions and exceptions to the ISF filing requirement, depending on various factors such as the type of shipment, specific trade programs, and trade agreements. However, it is advisable to consult with a customs broker or an expert in the field to determine if any exemptions or exceptions apply to your specific situation. As with any customs process, proper documentation and adherence to regulations are key to ensuring a smooth and efficient clearance process. By working with an experienced customs broker, you can rely on their expertise to handle the ISF filing and navigate through any complexities that may arise during the importation of your walkie-talkies. Remember, customs regulations and requirements are subject to change, so it is important to stay updated with the latest information provided by CBP or seek professional advice when needed. In conclusion, if you are importing walkie-talkies, it is highly likely that you will need to file an importer security filing ISF. Compliance with this requirement is crucial to avoid any penalties or delays in the customs clearance process. Consult with a customs broker to ensure that you have all the necessary documentation and information in order to file the ISF accurately and within the designated time frame. Thank you for watching this episode of our video series. We hope you found this information helpful. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more informative videos on customs brokerage and international trade. Disclaimer note below. See you soon.